first, millions of cars were recalled because of airbags that could explode in drivers' faces. Okay, but now some are saying that their car's airbags aren't even deploying altogether, and they want to warn other people about it. And we want to warn you, some of these pictures are pretty graphic. Let's take a closer look. The photos are difficult to look at. A jagged laceration across Patricia McClanahan's forehead. It took 35 stitches to sew her up. I'm lucky to be alive. McClanahan lost control of her 2015 Kia Forte last April and smashed into a cinder block wall. Her airbag did not deploy. You're in a state of shock and disbelief. Uh, that something like this could happen. This month, a class action lawsuit was filed in LA County alleging that what happened to McClanahan is not an isolated event. The suit names six automakers, Kia, Hyundai, Fiat, Chrysler, Mitsubishi, Honda, and Toyota, accusing them of an egregious breach of public trust for concealing a deadly airbag defect in 12.3 million US cars. These numbers are staggering. It's large, and I don't think we're, we're done. I actually think we're just getting started. Jonathan Michaels is one of the attorneys representing the plaintiffs in the suit. He says that issue is the vehicle's airbag control system. And at the point of impact, the airbag control unit tells the airbag to deploy and the seatbelt to lock. And what is happening in these cars is the airbag control unit is defective. And so it's not deploying the airbags or locking the seatbelt at the point of impact. The suit also claims that internal NHTSA or National Highway Traffic Safety Administration documents show that some of the automakers knew of the problems with the airbag control system as early as 2011. The cost to replace the airbag control unit is about $1,000 per unit. Well, if you have 12.3 million vehicles out there, the recall costs are absolutely staggering. The class action suit covers automobiles ranging from 2010 to 2019. We reached out to all six automakers, Kia, Jeep, which is owned by Fiat Chrysler, Hyundai and Honda responded. Kia and Honda wouldn't comment due to the pending lawsuit. Both Jeep and Hyundai say the issue was resolved with past recalls. But NHTSA has confirmed that it's expanded its investigation into all makes and models containing the airbag control unit in question. Christine Lazar, CBS News, Los Angeles.